I believe at that time that Mr. Sorrell was a communist because of all the things that I had heard and uh, uh, and had seen uh, his name appearing on many of the commie front things. And when he pulled the strike, the first people to put me, to smear me and put me on the unfair list were all of the commie front organizations. Hey, Bob. Here in the audience. It's been now over a week since Elon Musk had his interview right after Bob Iger telling Bob Iger off, saying hi to him, telling off Disney, going after these people and telling people who don't want to advertise on Twitter to fuck off. Well, but that's not enough for Elon Musk. No, he's tripling. He's quadrupling down. He's going after Disney and going after Bob Iger hard. At the end of the day, I will never take my grandchildren ever to that place, ever. Well, and I you, think have to, that, you have to wonder, what would Walt Disney think of the company that oh, is his namesake today? I'm telling you what. I, mean, they're, they're, I think Walt Disney's turning in his grave faster than a drill bit. Thank you, Monroe Live, for this small clip. There's the full interview. You can go and watch it at his channel. I'm going to link it down below. Thank you for that awesome interview. Elon Musk claiming that Walt Disney would be turning in his grave seeing what is happening to his company. Partially I agree, but also we all know that Walt Disney is not in a grave. He's frozen in a time capsule and will return at some point. But don't worry if you were looking for more Elon Musk going after Bob Iger, here's one for you. Drops more bombs than a B-52. Or how about this one? Congratulations on the award, well-deserved. Disney awarded defense contract after producing more bombs than Lockhead Martin. Marvels, already out of the movie theaters, huh? Or take a look at this one. Why no advertiser boycott Bob Iger? You are endorsing this material, and if you go to the link, but before I do that, here's the umbrella guy. Why, look at Hollywood mainstreamed companies support child predators because they're supporting themselves. True, but if you click on this link from CNBC, it brings you to this. Facebook and Instagram content enabled child sexual abuse trafficking. New Mexico lawsuit. Hmm. Bob Iger, what do you have to say for yourself? You're the one supporting this. Or how about this one? Crazy that Disney has to be sued to stop this terrible behavior. And if you click on this, new, New Mexico has sued Meta and Mark Zuckerberg for allegedly enabling child sexual abuse material to be distributed. Hey, Robert Iger, and other advertisers, will you be suspending advertising on Facebook and Instagram like you did with X? Disney is currently running 300 ads for Disneyland in Disney World on Meta. Examples attached. The lawsuit claims Meta was showing sexually explicit content to minors. Child sexual coercion and the sell of child sexual abuse material, according to New Mexico Attorney General Raul Torres. The answer is, Disney is not going to stop advertising on Facebook. This one's going to be a fun one because I'm going to absolutely destroy Disney. We are going through uh, the entire audit. There is a bombshell audit that just dropped. We are going actually live here. This is the this is the raw dog, right? This is the entire 100%. You're getting everything. There will be a summary of this because you're going to need a summary of this. This stream will probably go at least two, if not three hours because it is the thing I've been telling you about for a, over a year. As long as I've been covering the Disney case, I've been saying this is coming. This is coming. This is coming. And all of a sudden, when this comes, it's like, oh, it's a bomb. It's crazy. Yes, it's a bombshell. Yes, it's amazing validation. But anybody who's been paying attention to my channel and anybody who's been watching knows I've been saying this is going to happen. Me has been saying this is going to happen. 
That was Andrew from Legal Mindset. If you haven't subscribed to him yet, go and do that. Link down below. Definitely do that. He breaks down the audit in the live stream. He has a summary on his channel. Go check it out. But a blanketed overall statement is that Disney allegedly, but I'm not a lawyer, bribed people. Wait, what? I mean, it's not very surprising for people who are in this sphere who know about what is going on and watching this all play out. But this is still a bombshell audit. It proves that Disney was doing this. This is why Disney, in the lawsuit against Florida State, why they bring up, why they, why they are pushing this further and further, why they bring up things like, oh yeah, uh, this belongs to uh, King Charles of Great Britain. Like, bullcrap. They didn't want this audit to come out. They didn't want to have to deal with this. That's what's going on. And this, on top of everything else going on at Disney, every movie, every show is bombing. People are not interested in this woke garbage that they are pushing. That's just a fact. Go woke, go broke. Now, do I think that Disney will actually go broke? No, but they will have to change their tune and, you know, everything is happening all together. Disney is getting piled on, and I'm absolutely here for it. I absolutely love it. This comes in, you know, on top of rumors of a hostile takeover with Perlmutter, with um, Nelson Pels, that they are buying more stock into Disney to, to hostily take over the company to change things. And part of me really hurts to say these things because I used to love Disney. I grew up with Disney, the Disney movies, the Disney shows, everything. I absolutely loved it. It's a part of my childhood. It's part of me growing up. It's part of, of the culture. And I still love their stuff to this day. Timeless classics. But what they are doing is horrible. They are getting what they deserve. And on top of that, check out Film Threat with Chris Gore. They are having people reach out to them to talk about what is going on, what has happened in the Disney company. And I'm looking forward to seeing the documentary that's going to come out. I'm looking forward to hearing the accounts of people who have worked there, who, who worked there. I, I'm, I'm all for it. I can't wait to see Disney burn so bad that they have to make a change. And if that change comes within a hostile takeover, I'm here for it. I hope you enjoyed this. I certainly did. Learning about Disney is always fun. Now, look, I know I haven't been here in quite some time. I'm sorry for that. I'm going to try to get back into things. I have been doing a couple courses. I'm still in a course, but I've been doing Premiere Pro, After Effects. So I hope that I'm getting better at this. <laughs> I definitely hope so. I really do. And right now I'm in a social media management course. So we'll see how that goes. But let me know down in the comments below what you thought of this video. What do you think about what is happening to Disney, about Elon Musk going after Disney? Let me know. I'm interested in your thoughts. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications because, you know, YouTube, they need to know that you're interested in watching my content. All right, until next time, take care.